He was born in the year 980 in a place near Bukhara in Central Asia. His real name was Abu Ali Al Hussein Ibn Abdullah Ibn Sina or well known as Ibn Sina. His mother named Setare while his father was Abdullah. His parents were the high officials of the administration of Bukhara. His father was also a respected scholar from Balkh, an important town of the Samanid Empire. During the year that Ibn Sina was born, Abdullah governed a village in one of the royal estates. When he was 10 years old, he already memorized the whole Quran and studied profoundly the Hadith. Before he reached the age of 16, he had mastered various fields as mathematics, Islamic jurisprudence, metaphysics, and logic. He turned to the field of medicine at the age of 17 and attained such a degree of expertise in medicine that his fame spread far and wide. His medical expertise brought him to the attention of the Sultan of Bukhara, Sultan Nuh ibn Mansur. He had successfully treated the Sultan's illness which all the well-known physicians had given up hope. On his recovery, the Sultan wished to reward him, but he only desired permission to use the Sultan's library and its rare manuscripts. After his father's death, Ibn Sina traveled to various places in Iran, including Jurjan, Tehran, Isfahan, and Hamadan. Ibn Sina was well known as a genius and self-taught student. He studied Aristotle's metaphysics on his own with the help of Al-Farabi's commentary. His interest in philosophy began when he made a remarkable commentary on Hellenistic's interpretation of Aristotelian metaphysics. The substance of the soul is different from the substance of the physical body. This leads to Ibn Sina's idea of dualism in human existence. The spiritual existence that is the soul and the material existence that is the physical body. Ibn Sina came out with three proofs that the soul is a different entity from the body. First, the soul is continually in lasting state while the body is always in the state of impairment. Second, the soul is the one who governs the action of human being, not the body. And lastly, in human body, there is something that collects all perceptions and actions performed by the body, which is the soul. The of the soul is determined by reward or punishment. According to him, soul is originally in natural disposition, that is neither good or bad. However, the natural state of the soul may be changed and influenced by the environment and education. The reward and punishment that the soul gains in the hereafter are the results of its choice in the world. And there can be both destiny and punishment because the world and its order are precisely what gives souls a choice between good and evil.